everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as Nurse with the Difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be talking about jaundice. What is jaundice? What are the various types of jaundice? What are the causes of jaundice? The nursing management of jaundice. By the end of this class you will be able to understand all you need to know about jaundice. But before we go into details, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about jaundice. What is jaundice? Jaundice happen when too much bilirubin builds up in your blood, causing yellowish discoloration. In jaundice, there is what? There is too much bilirubin. The big question is, what is bilirubin? Bilirubin is a yellowish pigment that is derived from the breakdown of red blood cells. For those that have not watched our video on hemolysis, which is the breakdown of red blood cell, Feel free to search for hemolysis by nurses lecture room. The video will pop up. So, bilirubin is more or less like a byproduct, like a, a waste product from the breakdown of what red blood cell. So, when there is excessive bilirubin in the bloodstream, it results in what is called jaundice. And jaundice is characterized by what yellowish discoloration. That takes us to the various types of jaundice on the board. We have three based on what is happening. The first we have here is the pre-hepatic jaundice. The second is hepatic jaundice. And the third is post-hepatic jaundice. As the name implies, when you hear hepatic, what comes to your mind should be the liver. So they are not telling you pre-hepatic jaundice. That is before liver before the bilirubin gets to the liver because when this bilirubin is being released it is taken into the liver from the liver it passes through those various tracts before it's been excreted out of the body so when you hear the word pre-hepatic jaundice it means before the bilirubin gets to the liver hepatic jaundice problem inside the liver post-hepatic jaundice problem outside the liver so, before I explain the various types of jaundice, I would like us to go through the flow of jaundice. What happens when bilirubin is formed? When the red blood cells are broken down, it goes to the liver. That's the bilirubin part of it. It goes to the liver. What happens is that that bilirubin, you know, bile is being formed, then it passes through the left hepatic dot, the right hepatic dot. The left hepatic dot is from the left side of the liver, while the right hepatic dot is from the right side of the liver. So, bad, which has that bilirubin, passes through this left and right hepatic dots, passes through the hepatic dot itself, then it's being stored in the gallbladder. Inside that bile, you have what? Bilirubin. From the gallbladder, when it is needed, when bile is needed, the bile passes through this common bile dot passes through this one that is linked with the pancreatic dot into the duodenum where it helps in the emulsification of fat. So anything at all that hurts this movement, that stops this movement can result in what? Jaundice. The first one like earlier said in types of jaundice we have is the pre-hepatic jaundice. That means the bilirubin has not gotten to the liver. What is likely to cause um, jaundice outside the liver. So examples of that include malaria. We all know that in malaria what is being affected is the red blood cells. So in malaria there might be excessive breakdown of red blood cells leading to excessive bilirubin because bilirubin is a waste product from the breakdown of red blood cells. Sickle cell anemia. In sickle cell anemia, there is excessive breakdown of red blood cells. True of us, because the lifespan of a red blood cell in sickle cell anemia patient is not up to 120 days. So there is what? Breakdown. Then sclerosis and thalassemia, all of all these ones here, they affect the red blood cell 
causing hemolytic jaundice. So that is why this prehepatic, we can also call it what? Hemolytic. Because most of them are involving the excessive breakdown of red blood cells. So the causes of prehepatic, we have malaria, sickle cell, spherocytosis, and thalassemia. Then the second is the hepatic. That means something is wrong with the liver. That is why the liver is unable to carry that bilirubin, it's unable to take that bilirubin and transport it out of the body. So what could result in that? In hepatic, hepatic bilirubin, hepatic jaundice I mean, can be caused by liver cirrhosis. What is liver cirrhosis? Liver cirrhosis is the scarring of the liver. For example, I have a scar in my hand. That same way liver cirrhosis is, there's a scar in the liver. That is, it's something is impairing the function of the liver. Hepatitis, especially your viral hepatitis, liver cancer. If you notice in hepatic jaundice, if you not look very well, you see that something is wrong with the liver. There's a problem with the liver. So the liver is unable to carry out that function of taking bilirubin and transporting it and um, transporting it out of our body. So in hepatic jaundice, what is being affected is the liver. Then the other one we have is the post-hepatic, that is after the liver. After the liver, what do we have? We have the hepatic dot, we have the cystic dot, we have the common bile dot, we have the pancreatic dot before it finally gets to the duodenum. So if something is wrong with this gallbladder, something is wrong with this hepatic dot, something is obstructing the flow. For example, gallstones. For example, gallstones might be here, obstructing the flow of bile. It can result in jaundice. Pancreatic cancer, something is wrong with the pancreas. Pancreatitis, something is wrong with the pancreas. Biliary atresia, something is wrong with the biliary tract. It could be that the biliary tract narrowed or there is no biliary tract. So when something of such happens, we say there is what? Post-hepatic jaundice. It is very, very easy to know. Prehepatic actually involves the excessive breakdown of red blood cells. As far as there is an excessive breakdown of red blood cells, definitely there is going to be an excess bilirubin. Since bilirubin is gotten from where? From the breakdown of red blood cells. In hepatic jaundice, we are talking about the liver. The liver is the one that is being affected. That is why it was hepatic. Something is wrong inside the liver. Something is depriving the liver of carrying out that function. Causes of hepatic jaundice include liver cirrhosis, hepatitis, and liver cancer. Then post-hepatic, after the liver, post, pre and post. So anything that affects this biliary tract is likely going to cause what? Jaundice. Because that thing is obstructing the flow of jaundice. Then that takes us to neonatal jaundice what is neonatal jaundice going to neonatal jaundice who is a neonate a neonate is a newborn baby ranging between zero to four weeks of life so what do you think neonatal jaundice is all about neonatal jaundice is simply that kind of jaundice that occurs in a newborn baby neonatal jaundice is a common type of jaundice that happens to newborn babies there are various types of neonatal jaundice. The first one we have is the physiological jaundice. In the physiological jaundice, the liver is not matured enough to be able to deal with those excessive bilirubin from the baby. It's possible the baby is producing enough red blood cells and enough red blood cells is being broken down. But the liver is not matured enough to take it away. So it results in what? Physiological jaundice. Then the other one is prematurity. Premature baby babies that are not that have not of them they didn't get to them before they were being de they, before they were delivered so in terms of prematurity it simply means that the baby is not matured definitely when a baby is not matured the liver is not matured so conversion and movement of bilirubin will be very very difficult then the other is breastfeeding breastfeeding is as a result of inadequate nutrition for these babies the mothers are not breastfeeding their babies so the baby is not getting enough nutrients it's likely going to result in what jaundice then the other one is incompatible blood type. Incompatible blood type between the mother and the baby can lead to a reaction that finally, finally results in what? 
jaundice. Then that takes us to the general clinical manifestation of jaundice. First, we have dark forming urine. We have light or clay colored stew. Then we have pruritus. What is it? There's this sensation. In pruritus, there's this sensation to scratch your body when you have jaundice. Then we have inability to tolerate fatty foods. Remember the function of the bile is to what? Is to emulsify fat. Now there's an obstruction. The bile cannot get to the duodenum as a result of one or two things. So there's going to be what? Inability to tolerate fatty food. There is pallor. There's anorexia. Definitely there's anorexia. That's the person is not eating well. There's loss of appetite. There's going to be what? Weight loss. There's splenomegaly. And there is hepatomegaly. Don't forget that jaundice, there's what yellowish discoloration of your skin and your conjunctiva. Then in terms of the management of jaundice, the management of jaundice de does depends on the cause. What is causing this particular jaundice? If it is pancreatitis, you have to treat the pancreatitis. If it's hepatitis, you have to treat the hepatitis. If it is liver cirrhosis, you have to treat liver cirrhosis. So the management of jaundice depends on the cause of that jaundice because jaundice is more or less like a symptom of a disease to be together so that is all i have to share with you about jaundice before i go lest i forget for children there's a high pitch cry you see the children crying that is all i have to share with you about jaundice thank you very much for watching thank you very much for staying tuned don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share with a friend if you got value See you in our next video.